Options involve risk and are not suitable for all investors. Options investors may lose the entire amount of their investment in a relatively short period of time. Today we're going to talk about option trading. Specifically, we're going to talk about cashing out your option contract. Let's paint a picture. Let's say we are long an option contract. That means that we have purchased it. We have an established position in our account. Now that we are long this contract, what are we going to do? Well, there are three different things that can happen. I can go to the options marketplace and I can sell to close my position. Next thing that can happen is I can go all the way to expiration, let that contract ride, and if there's no intrinsic value or real value in that option contract, I just let it expire worthless. And the last thing would be is we went all the way to expiration and there was intrinsic value or real value, I could exercise my option contract. And if I exercise, and if it's a call, that means that I'm gonna call stock away from someone. And if I exercise and it's a put, that means that I'm going to sell stock to someone. So my question to you is, what happens the most often? Number one, the position actually gets closed out on the marketplace. Number two, the option actually expires worthless. Or number three, the option actually gets exercised, which means someone gets assigned on the other side of the contract. Well, there's a common misconception, especially with beginning option traders, that number two happens the most often. And that's simply not the case. They think of an uh, option contract more as a hot potato. Oh, here, I don't want it. Here, you take it. Here, it's got to expire worthless in somebody's hands. Bottom line is, in option trading, number one is the most common thing that happens. The option actually gets closed out on the marketplace. If we look at our pie chart here from the Options Clearing Corporation, we'll see that 70% of positions actually get closed out in the options marketplace. About 23% of option contracts actually expire worthless, and about 7% of option contracts actually get exercised, which means someone gets assigned. And if you think of the big picture of the options marketplace, these numbers make a lot of sense. Why are people trading options? They're trading options because they, want, they don't want to put up all the capital it takes to actually trade the underlying stock. So what do you do? You buy the option contract, the market goes with you, you're making money, you sell it and you get out. You buy the option contract, the market goes against you. What do you do? You sell it and you get out. So bottom line, when trading options, the most common thing that happens is number one, and the reason why is people just want to close out of their positions and move on and not have to deal with trading the stock. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to your questions and comments. In the meantime, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish out. <laughs>